Divad, uh, both are going to present uh, uh, an, an introduction. What is comparative literature today by Susan Besnett? So here is the table of uh, contents, uh, a brief uh, sketch of uh, Susan Besnett, introduction, key arguments, uh, analysis, and work cites. Uh, so uh, first, uh, uh, let uh, we will see that a brief uh, sketch of Susan Besnett. So Susan Be Edna Besnett, uh, uh, FRL, FRSL, uh, means a fellow of uh, the Royal Society of Literature, is a translation theorist and scholar of comparative literature. She served uh, as a pro vice vice chancellor at the uh, University of Warwick uh, for ten years and taught uh, in its uh, Center for Translation and Comparative Cultural Study. Uh, and here is a point that which uh, closed in uh, 2009. So further introduction. Uh, there have been a various uh, definition of comparative literature, which greatly varies from one scholar to another, but they all uh, agree that uh, it, it is one of the most modern uh, literary uh, science. Uh, throughout the past of two uh, decades, uh, new critical theories such as uh, gender-based uh, criticism, translation uh, studies, uh, de uh, deconstruction and ori orientalism have changed uh, approach uh, to the literature and according to have a, uh, had a profound impact, impact on the work of uh, comparist. Uh, sooner or later, anyone who claims to be working in comparative literature has to try and answer the Inevitable question, what is it? The simplest uh, answer is that comparative literature involves the study of steps across the culture that, uh, that is uh, interdisciplinary and that is uh, it, uh, concerned with the patterns of uh, connection in literature across both time and uh, pace. Uh, by uh, Besnet, page number one. Uh, everywhere there is a connection, everywhere there is a uh, illustration, as a Matthew Arnold uh, puts it. According to Susan Besnett, everybody who is uh, interested in books in uh, in, is on path or to comparative uh, literature. We come upon a Boccaccio while reading the Joseph. Shakespeare's primary materials may be traced back to Latin, French, Spanish, and, uh, and Italian. We can see how uh, Baudelaire's uh, affinity for Edgar Allan Poe influenced as his own writing. Consider how many English authors learned from the great uh, Russian writers of the 19th century. We may compare James Joyce's uh, borrowing and uh, leading to Italo Seo, Clary's uh, respected demand as of Jean Rice, who in uh, turn reminds us of uh, Dujuna, uh, Dujuna Bars and uh, Agnes Nin. So, our third uh, point is key arguments. Let's we will see. Uh, comparative literature revolves around the study of uh, literature outside the borders of one uh, particular culture. The study of relation between the literature on the one hand and uh, other area of uh, human expression such as, such as the philosophy on the other hand. Critics have also related uh, relate to history as uh, it examines the co uh, uh, convergence in of different uh, literature and its historical aspects of influence. Uh, concern, uh, considering that competitive literature is the essence of the history of uh, literature beyond the scope of one culture or language. And for further, another argument is that uh, West students of 1960 claimed that competitive literature could be put in a single boundaries for competitive literature study. But she said that there is a no particular method uh, used for claiming. Uh, critics at the end of 20th century in the age of post-modernism still wrestle with the same question that were uh, posed more than a century ago. So uh, here is uh, some question uh, which are asked by uh, some critics. Uh, what is the object of the study in competitive literature? How can competition be the objective of anything? If individual uh, literature have a canon, what uh, might a competitive canon Cannot be. Uh, fourth one is how can we a comparative select uh, what to compare? And um, fifth is uh, is comparative literature discipline or it, uh, is it uh, simply as a field of study? And uh, for, for uh, further, there was an uh, interesting uh, news that uh, uh, there was a 
Muslim uh, girls are we- wearing uh, hijab uh, and at the ca- counter uh, argument uh, uh, there are uh, Hindu uh, Hindu community are coming from the Bhagwa. So th- that was the one uh, interesting news. And uh, as an example of uh, who, who are doing uh, research on uh, this. So Dr. Audrey Truske. Audrey uh, Truske is a historian of uh, South Asian and associate uh, professor at uh, Ruger University. Her work uh, focus on Hindu-Muslim relation in uh, South Asia, especially during uh, Mughal Empire. She has been a frequent target of uh, harassment, harassment by right-wing uh, Hindu nationalists who accuse her of uh, having prejudiced views on uh, Hinduism and making offensive statements. A scholar reject uh, the charges. And uh, for further uh, presentation, I would like to go with the word. Okay, thank you, Jignes. So, as Jignes mentioned, that uh, yeah, comparative mind is necessary to all of uh, comparatives. So, <clears throat> now the key points in analysis. So, first, the methodology uh, methodology of comparative literature, then a crisis of comparative literature in the postmodern literature field, and third one is dynamic shifts in a comparative literature. Okay. So our main concern is analysis. So what is comparative literature today? A comparative analysis involves a interdisciplinary study of texts across cultures. As it is concerned with uh, connecting different work of literature across both time and uh, space. Hence, it requires a moving beyond the boundaries of a single subject area to find out how texts author or cultural context are related. Matthew Arnold uh, propounded that no uh, single literature is uh, adequately comprehended except in connection to other literatures. So he, his argument is that everywhere there is a connection, everywhere there is an illustration. No single event, no single literature is a uh, uh, adequately comprehend and expect, expect in relation to other events, to other literature. So compre- uh, comparative literature is an uh, individ- uh, inevitable stage in reading. To conduct a comparative analysis, uh, you should, uh, sorry, we have uh, uh, already read for different uh, prominent writers, for instance, Chaucer, Shakespeare, uh, uh, Baudrillard, Poe, Poe, Jen, uh, then uh, enjoys uh, reading extensively means that you will be able to move across any front uh, frontiers as noted by Goethe, uh, so, sorry, Goethe, through which you will be able to uh, perceive culture differences. So Valek and Varen, he write uh, in, uh, in, uh, in their book that comparative literature will make high demands on a linguistic proficiency of our scholars. It asks for a widening of perspectives, a, a suppression of local and provincial sentimentals, not easy to achieve. So Valen and Varek also argue that literature is one, as art and humanity are one. It is an idealistic vision that uh, re- recurs in the aftermath of major international crisis. So the focus is no longer comparative uh, text and tracking pattern of influence. Besides, new theories emerge like uh, structurali- uh, tr- structuralism, uh, deconstruct- uh, reconstruction, semin- uh, seminology, and psychologies. Uh, the uh, Eurocentric cultural studies, uh, sorry, comparative literature, uh, which uh, focus only on the li- idol of uh, universalism. The third world schools have turned to focus on the specific, uh, specific, uh, specificity of national literature and directly influence the rise of nationalism and the interest in cultural identity. The West started to be uh, from without from a, a radical 
alternative perspective and african then indian and caribbean uh, compare uh, comparistic have uh, refused the daniel of their cultural and liter uh, literary history so the myth of other emerged and the concept of great literature has become questioned comparative literature has developed globally as a result of the mounting national consciousness of the need to move beyond the colonial legacy shakespeare in india represented the representative of colonial values and thus it is not easy to treat his literature comparatively comparative literature cross uh, culture criticism has lost uh, ground in the west and it is no longer a binary study as many comparist are approaching many challenges and it is uh, being compared to translation studies so which are significantly important at time of great cultural changes the long unresolved debate in on whether comparative literature is or is not a discipline in its own right so according to ganesh devi comparative literature in india is related to uh, the birth of modern indian uh, nationalism he observed that comparative literature has been utilized to assert national cultural identity there is a no notion here that national literature and comparative literature are a uh, 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 and the argument is significant because it helps to remind us of the roots of the word uh, word comparative literature in europe so a phrase that originally uh, originated during a period of national conflicts when new limits were being uh, established so the issue of national culture and identity was then debated throughout europe and the united state so now let's sum up so main question is that what is a translation studies con uh, contribution to comparative literature so translation studies has progressed to the point that many people regard it uh, it has a distinct field in its own right work in a uh, linguistic literary studies history uh, anthro anthropology uh, psychology and sociology all contribute to contribute to translation studies it make the uh, daring claim that translation is not a a a per per activity but rather a key shaping agent for change in cultural history so translation has historically been claimed as a sub category in comparative literature although this assumption is currently being challenged scholars including such a uh, turi then uh, uh, hermans lambert and other have uh, uh, demonstrated that translation is specially important at time of uh, tremendous cultural upheaval according to ivan zoha uh, substantial translation activity occur when a civilization is in translation however when a culture uh, feels it is a dominating translation become less necessary uh, uh, wherever a uh, comparative literature inside the west is moving backward and translation study is going strength so uh, here is work cited and uh, thank you yes so who is going to ask questions let me find here yeah. okay so hello riti my question to you that why did the students in the uh, in the 15th and 16th turn to the comparative literature uh yes so in 1950 and 1960 highly graduated students in the west uh, uh, <clears throat> turned to comparative literature as a, a radical subject because uh, uh, that time it appeared to be a, a, a trans transgressive and moving across the boundaries so that's why thank you 
हेलो जिगेश माय क्वेश्चन इज दैट योर अकॉर्डिंग व्हाट इज कंपैरेटिव लिटरेचर इन टुडे यस वेल यंग सो फर्स्ट आई वांट टू टेल यू दैट वी कैन नॉट डिफाइन कंपैरेटिव कंपैरेटिव लिटरेचर बिकॉज इट हैज अ सो मेनी कनेक्शन इफ वी कैन टेक एनी बुक इट मस्ट बी अक्रॉस द कल्चर so uh, we can say that uh, comparative literature has a uh, so many connection as matthew arnold said that uh, everywhere there is a connection everywhere there is a illustration 